Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Golf With Your Friends. We are back yet again to show who is the superior golfer, this time in the Candyland map. Joe somehow pulled a victory last time, but this is my opportunity to show I am much better than any of you today. Sounds pretty confident for someone who hasn't won a game here yet, but since you're very experienced with eating candy, I'd imagine you do have a natural advantage. We can also mention that this has collision on 12 holes, and the winner becomes the president of the country. Wait, I didn't agree to that. We don't need you to. Those are the rules now. After I win, you will be all calling me President Shapiro. That does have a nice sound to it. That sounds terrible, and I'll make sure you don't get that victory. How is falling into the water going to stop my victory? We're 40 seconds in, and you are already throwing away any chance at a lead. Ben is right. You can't be falling behind now. It'll just make it much harder to catch up. Just do what I did, and you'll make it across easily. Yeah, even Sleepy Joe got it, and what is wrong with you? Why did you call yourself Sleepy Joe? It doesn't work as an insult if you call yourself the same thing. Now I have to come up with something different. First place winner of golf is a good nickname, also accurate. Hey, Ben, I bet you'll miss like I did, and then we'll both be trying to catch up. I'm making it over right now. Yeah, right over into last place. Who would have guessed that would happen? Hey, it's too early to be overly confident. There's still over 30 minutes until the game is over, so that leaves a lot of time before we'll know who won. Perhaps you're right. I apologize, Ben. It's not like I'm any further ahead, so I don't have the room to criticize. It's all good. I'm sure you'll make it in this time. My golfer's intuition tells this me again? you're going to miss and watch us all get a better score. I thought we established last time that your intuition was just made up. It was, but since then I developed it for real and will be 100% accurate in my readings. Did your readings tell you that I would be the first one in making me in the lead? Yes, I just didn't want to spoil it or admit that you were going to be ahead of us. I can handle you being ahead of Ben and Barack, just not me. Ben, it looks like you're missing. We have to focus up. We can't be tearing down each other, as that'll just distract us further from our comeback. You're right. I think that if I act like the ball is a liberal, and me, the golfer, is the master of owning liberals, Ben Shapiro, then I'll be able to destroy this game and achieve first place. That was kind of strange for an uplifting message to yourself, but if that's what ends up working for you, then I suppose that will have to do. Personally, I'm going to be making it further without the messages of confidence, though. Congratulations. I'm glad you get it in finally. Don't worry about falling behind too much as long as you're making progress. Let me just get out my six octillion IQ strategy and get much further than I did before. Is a six octillion IQ strategy to only make progress after you've reached par for the course? Seems like it's a little flawed. Okay, maybe I overestimated myself a little, but I'm still getting through here without too many issues, and I'm sure Barack is going to be doing just the same. What are you on some sort of team all of a sudden? If you're trying to sabotage myself or Joe, then it's definitely not happening. Hey, does that mean we're on a team against those two now? I would rather go bankrupt than team up with you against the double bogey duo. You've already gone bankrupt like six times, so that doesn't sound like anything unusual. That's enough arguing. It's time for me to show you how a comeback happens. Where are you coming back to, last place? You can't come back there if you haven't left at all. That was just an accident. I know I'll get around to catching up on one of these holes. You have as much chance getting to first place as Donald does winning in 2024. Fake now, if news. you don't mind, it's time to watch me actually get a hole in one, because that is what I do best. As much as I don't appreciate that personal attack on me that was a very good shot, it looks like you might actually have a chance at winning this too, if you keep it up, or at least don't fail spectacularly like Ben has been. I don't want to try anything special. I just need to maintain a safe amount of success each shot so I don't fall further behind. I think I can make that work. It looks like you did fine. Now it's time for the Donald to show his true expertise at this game. Guys, what about me? I'm here too. You're here technically, but your gameplay isn't here at all. That's why you're in last place is the thing. That's a little bit harsh. Sure he is in last, but have you already forgotten after just a few minutes that we still have most of the game for the score to change? It's never too late for him to catch up. Thank you, Barack. I'm glad someone here has my back, unlike a certain other two people here. I have your back. It's just that I want to see you fail because it's funnier to make fun of your failures. Joe doesn't, but it's nothing personal. He's just not awake most of the time anyway. I'm awake enough to see that Barack just missed his chance to catch up and has to hit it in again, soon get wrecked. Oh, sure, now you're suddenly awake after saying nothing since you got your ball in. You two can get at it some more, but for now, I just am going to casually loop my ball around this hill just enough to get right back into the hole, catching up even further. Okay, that was epic. I think I can do the same if I angle my shot in just the same way. My intuition tells me that you won't be getting it in. 
I do kind of wonder, does that intuition of yours tell you what anything is gonna happen or just for golf? Just golf for now. I'm honing my abilities to predict the future of different sports such as basketball. I think Barack might have that already. Can you explain why you think I, of all people, would be very good at basketball? I wanna hear a very clear answer on that. Let's be real, Joe would break his hip just watching a game. And Ben isn't someone interested in sports from what I can tell, no other reasons really. Somehow I don't believe that, but I don't want to get into a comical yet insane argument. So I'm just going to make progress if that's okay. No, if you could just cement yourself in third place, that would be fine. Or maybe even battle out fourth with Ben, that would be nice. I can just tell there's no way Ben is making it in this week. He has trouble making it into one hole, much less two or three here. Nobody asked you, plus I'll be proving myself once my turn comes up. I'll be posting it on my Daily Wire front page to show my superiority this time. Are you going to show the past five minutes where you've gotten double bogey each time, or is that not going to make the cut somehow? Obviously, I'm leaving it out. When your term is up, are you going to put the average gas and grocery prices in your exiting speech? I didn't think so. No, though I am putting in this clip of me making it through and moving on to the next section, something you won't be doing anytime soon. I believe in you, Ben. You're going to make it further than anyone else this time. You'll miss. I guess you were both right, depending on how you look at it. But that means Ben is going to fall even further behind than he already was. Ben, I'm trying to defend you here, but your shots are making it really difficult sometimes. Don't worry about me, I'll make it in. If you're focusing on me too much, you won't make any progress. Okay, you were right. I need to get a grip on myself. I can't end up in third, but at least I won't be getting into last. I think my golfer intuition is giving me a vision. I won't be making it in, but I think we can actually go around and avoid going into the second rotating hole instead. That wasn't really a vision. It was just showing you what was happening on screen, but I suppose you were right. Good to know. And it looks like you all took it so far, meaning nobody made much real progress this time around. That'll be changing with me. Oh, here we go again. Please get through it. Come on, that isn't what I meant. Ben, I'm gonna fall asleep waiting for you to actually get past that hole properly. We all knew you were gonna fall asleep anyway, but Joe is right in concept. We don't wanna be here all day if that's okay with you. Just believe in me, I'll make it in soon, you'll all see. While Ben spouts nonsense about him doing well here, I'm gonna actually get closer to the hole, which none of us have done in quite a while. Yeah, I have to get through a little more carefully, so I might make some ground against Joe. That's good and all, but I think I'll be doing something a little special to get closer than all of you this time. This can't be good. Wow, you actually made it. Ben, can you replicate that soon or are you gonna shoot above the map three times in a row? No, I'm putting in less power to make sure I'm not going too far this time. I've got this in the bag. My intuition tells me that- I'm gonna start winning. Yeah, that's right. Is that what winning looks like? Because to me, that looks like you failed yet again, but nobody's surprised at that one. Are we gonna talk about anything else besides my slightly subpar shots? Or is that the main focus for all of us today? We'll focus on my actually winning, which I'm surprised took this long to actually make it in. Or we'll focus on my expertly crafted angled shot that brings me right to the end because I'm the best. This actually looks pretty good. That was a nice recovery. If only Joe's son could make a nice recovery from the white lines on his table, that would be nice. Yeah, that would be great, but what can you do? You can watch this instead. I'd rather not at this point. I'm with Donald, just stop. For real, I'm making it. You'll miss just like you have every other time. Ben, how are you actually this bad? Shut this up, is shut worse up right than now. Any other hole I've seen from us yet. You are in no position to be confident when you have consistently proven you will not make progress if you tried. Your discouragement will not stop me. I am the Shapiro ruiner of liberals' lives and. The only thing you are ruining is our patience. It looks like you finally might make it past the starting area after only going three above par. Way to go, Ben. Oh, really now? I bet people have to be really patient to not get a speech of yours without you rambling about nonsense halfway through. But I guess some people just have more patience for Donald, ruiner of the Big Macs he eats for every meal of the day. Hey, I eat an occasional Whopper instead. I mean, I know I only eat the healthiest of foods. There you have it. Ben has made it nearly impossible to do as badly as he did. I guess that's what happens when you're being confident that you forget to be good. Perhaps I got a little carried away there. I'm sorry, Donald. I think I'll be more realistic this time around. Yeah, I apologize for losing my temper. The whole campaigning for president thing takes a lot out of me. Though with Joe's performance so far, it's not that difficult to seem good by comparison. What do you mean about my performance? I'm first place so far. 
I think he means your performance as a president, not in golf. Oh yeah, that makes a lot more sense, fair enough. Glad you're in agreement with me on that, and glad Barack missed, so that gives me more time to catch up. Wait, how did you know I'd miss before it even happened? Golfer's intuition, remember? I've only mentioned it like six or so times today. It's not a secret. Yeah, you'd have to forget things more often than me, and that's a pretty difficult task. I suppose you're right. I don't want to fall behind. It looks like going with less power is the way to get ahead for this hole. As I always say, just follow what I do, and you'll be just fine. Ben, if you just copy me, then you might get out of the fourth place position you've dug yourself into. Maybe you'll get third if you're lucky. Okay, maybe you're right. I won't make it a goal to copy what you're doing, but I don't have that many options as of yet, so I'll do it. I'll only keep giving you advice if you buy my signed copy of Art of the Deal for $30,000. Hold up, you already tried ripping me off during the last golfing session with that, but you bumped up the price even more. And your advice is just to copy what you do. It's not that hard to follow. Anyways, I don't want to win that badly. That's exactly right. You don't want to win that badly. That's why you're in last. If you really wanted it, you'd be asking me all day for my book, but instead you're not willing to. Whether or not you buy the book is separate. The important part is the interest and how far you're willing to go to get it done. That's what you have to apply yourself here if you want to do better. Wow, that was actually very thoughtful. I didn't know you were capable of being that motivating when you chose to. What do you think, Joe? Did someone say something? I was sleep golfing this hole and wasn't listening if someone said anything. Way to ruin the moment. At least I took something from it. Thank you, Donald. Anytime, but seriously, my book isn't selling well anymore, so if you want to buy it for real, just hit me up. I'll buy if Ben makes this easy shot. Well, there goes one sale. Way to go, Ben. Now, who's going to buy it? Oh, that's not fair to me. It was too far a shot to make accurately. That wasn't my fault. Really, since I'm making it in from further away, but I suppose I just got lucky or something. Yeah, well, I can get it in this time. It's not like I even fell behind by that much, so it made very little difference. And just like that, Ben finished last just as expected, meaning there wasn't much difference between our placements on the board this time, while Joe, who hasn't even been awake most of the time, is somehow first, which is really sad. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what to do. I am just hoping this works out well. And it looks like it did based on you getting right to the end. It'll be hard to top that without getting a hole in one somehow. Oh boy, Ben is up. I can only imagine how this is going to go. My guess is he takes a year straight to aim his shot and he will still fail after even Sleepy Joe managed to get a good shot, even if it was pure luck. And what do you know? Out of bounds, Ben is back at it with missing yet again. Okay, everyone, we get the point. I'm not doing well. Is there anything else we can joke about besides that? Or is that the main content for the next 20 or so minutes? If it makes you feel any better, I'm about to use my infinite intellect to get a hole in one, which is nice to see, especially when I'm the one getting them. How is that supposed to make me feel any better? I thought that you watching me succeed naturally brought happiness in your life since you look up to me and want to see me doing well. That and the game won't be an hour long because I don't keep missing. If it makes you feel any better, I'm about to use my infinite intellect to get a hole in one, which is nice to see, especially when I'm the one getting them. Hey, I already said that. Why are you copying me? Sorry, it just came to me naturally. Joe isn't getting a hole in one, but he at least is going to make it in now, which is nice. Oh, hey, did someone say my name again? I'm just about to get in the hole. I've got this. That's nice and all, but you know what? I'm going to take a bit of a risk this time. Instead of going in the front, I'll try this path to make things interesting. I believe in you. Maybe this time you'll get it. Oh, what? No funny remarks like, hey, Ben. You missed again, you suck and we hate you. Or, you are trash and don't deserve to play this. I was expecting something like that by now. No, Ben. The truth is that we don't hate you. Or at least I don't. You may be bad at this game compared to us, but that isn't anything personal against you. Truth is, we've all gone golfing a lot, so naturally we're more experienced. After all, Donald has gone golfing more than any president in history for his term. And while myself and Barack aren't as high up because we don't live at a golf course, we do like you. There was a famous quote that said something to the degree of, if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will spend its entire life thinking it's stupid. You are the fish, Ben, and golfing is your climbing. You are still valued despite your failures. That was the most beautiful thing I've heard during a golfing match, and it came from Joe Biden, of all people. This is definitely unexpected. Thank you for your support. I feel better about how I'm doing now. And your shot at the beginning even went well. As long as you keep your confidence up, then you can always stay ahead or at least on par with the rest of us. 
but not like so confident that you'll start catching up. I'm aiming to get first, so I don't want you to feel so good about yourself that I fall into fourth. With a shot like that, you'll be going to fourth in no time. What were you hoping to accomplish there? My goal was to get a special angle by bouncing into the air and getting a hole in one. Evidentially, that did not end up happening. That's all right. Some of us don't make good decisions when we try to get ahead. I, of all people, should know. You are correct, but you're in a good place. You'll be able to get it in next time, at least. Ben, I would like to apologize ahead of time for this, but I don't think this is going to go well by having you go Wait, in. what? So I need to get you out of the way. What was that about? I didn't even do something to you this time? I wasn't even going to get in at first. What is your insane logic for how you thought that was a good idea? There was nothing specific about it because I just thought it would be funny. You're already in last, so I didn't think it would make that much of a difference after all. Oh, it certainly made a difference. I'm keeping my eye on you. I don't think you'll be happy when I get my reverse sabotage moves on. You better all be worried about my moves since I nearly got it in one shot like I was planning the first time. Barack, you better be careful they don't sabotage you. If they can do it to me, they'll definitely do it to you since you're further up on the scoreboard. I promise I won't be doing any sabotaging. I want to at least try and maintain peace here for as long as we can so it doesn't devolve into meaningless arguing. Not that it hasn't already, of course. If this helps anything, I won't be doing any more sabotaging for a little while. Or at least not in this hole since I'm so close to getting it in. Oh, thank you, Donald. I appreciate you saying you likely won't be doing any sabotaging after you already sent me back further away. Very helpful. And now I'm completing the hole last. Although this time it isn't my fault. Don't worry, we're not blaming you this time. We know it wasn't your fault. I probably will not be sabotaging you, or at least it isn't in my plans for today. I'm not sure if we've discussed this. What do you do now that you're not president? I have my successful show Daily Wire, which I don't think I have brought up at any point before. Donald is campaigning to be president again, and Joe is the president, but I'm not sure what you do. Well, I post things on Twitter sometimes. I've done some interviews, supported Joe on his presidency, added some artificial votes in 2020. I mean, uh, not that last thing. Don't worry about it. Barack, what have you done? You weren't supposed to give that away. I was sure this whole time, but never had any actual evidence. Now I have your admission in audio recording that the election was rigged. This is the best day of my life. Well, third best, really. The best was when I won the election, and the second best is in the future when I win again, but this is pretty close. Aren't there any other things that are more important, like the day you got married to your wife, or the day you got married to your second wife, or the day you got married to your third wife, or the day your children were born? None of those. First off, you're shot, Miss Loser, and secondly, no, I said what I said. I'll be reporting this to the authorities, but mainly Fox News, so I can get my rightful presidency back. Isn't there a way we can work out a deal where everybody ends up happy by the end of this? I can think of none. I already got the admission I wanted, and I'm going to be winning this map since Barack is falling behind ever so slowly. No deals need to be made, although you can learn about them in the art of- Yeah, we get it. The art of the deal, you already mentioned it. Nobody is getting it for free, much less paid for. I can't see this going any better now, so I'm sure if we have a calm discussion after the game is over, then we can figure something out so that nobody goes to jail or loses the presidency earlier than intended. I have no real stake in your argument, so I'm just going to be happy that I finally got the ball into the hole in a reasonable amount of shots without anybody Donald messing me up. Hey, Barack, make sure not to overshoot again unless you want to lose in that case. Please keep doing it. I'll make you a deal, Donald. If you hold off on showing your evidence to the authorities and Fox News, I have this proposal. If I win, you have to not show anyone that Barack may or may not have rigged the election for me. If you win, I will rewrite the Constitution to say you are the president forever. You're about to miss this shot again, failure. Also, I accept your deal. But what happens if it ends in a tie between both of us? Then I will be declared the president instead of either of you. That doesn't make any sense. You said it yourself. You have no stake. And so you shouldn't benefit anything. If there is a tie, then this will continue into the next video. Deal. Deal. That sounds good. And maybe one of us will actually make some progress into the hole because none of us have made it besides Ben a while ago. I am happy to finally not be the last one in. Granted, I'm still not getting out of last place because of this, but I can still enjoy it while it's happening. And I'm for sure set to make it next time. I'd like to see one of you beat that. If you say so, I'll make it past the cone-shaped thing or whatever it is and make it right into the hole. It seems like I have my own sort of golfer's instinct. Instinct more like luck. My instinct says Barack will also make it in just the same way, which I don't appreciate, but I can't argue with the truth. Well, thanks for being confident in me, even if it was reluctant. I don't think I did I especially well at a few points, but don't think I fell behind by that much. 
That's all right. Just leave it to me to finish things off with style and finesse, like I always do. I wouldn't say you have style or finesse often, much less all the time. But more importantly, I caught up by two points after getting sabotaged before, so nobody else really had much of a change, unfortunately. That's all right. And leave it to me to start this round off. I imagine this donut is about to meet its untimely end when Donald eats it in one bite. What is that supposed to mean, that I eat a lot? Or that I like overly large donuts with eyes, arms, and legs? I was going to the first one, though. I wouldn't be surprised if the second one were also true. Guys, I'm about to do an epic shot through the donut's mouth. This will be so great to see. That wasn't any different than what I did, but I guess the shot was fine enough. In that case, you also need to all watch me do the exact same shot as the two of you already did. Isn't that just so exciting? That does sound exciting, Ben. I'm about to get my jimmies rustled by what's happening in front of me. Literally nobody this century has ever said that, but nobody is as old as you are, so that makes sense. Hey, there are a few people older than me. There are my good friends, Barney and Fred. I met them back in high school, and they're only a little younger than I am. So wait, are they older or younger? You just said both of them, which can't be true. Are you okay, Joe? Did you happen to take your pills this morning? I'm pretty sure I did, but even if I didn't, I don't think it's been detrimental to my performance on the game. Joe must have otherwise. He could never say a word like detrimental without stumbling at least six times in different places. But now it looks like we have to make it across a gap to reach the hole, or otherwise reach a section on the left side Wait, to what? make it easier. Sorry to interrupt you, but Joe, you completely sabotaged me too. Your ball was in the way, so unfortunately I had to knock it out, otherwise I couldn't make it around you. You could have just aimed to the right and gotten nearly the same result, so now I have to take another shot just to get back to where I was. You probably would have just missed it if you went anyway, so it's not like it made a huge difference. Just like you missed your shot to the other side too? Joe, I'm just letting you know I'm doing this for my own Wait, enjoyment. What? And because I need you to lose, otherwise I won't become King President Donald PhD. You getting a PhD and King title wasn't part of it, only president for life. Despite the clear sabotage that I can't endorse, that was a well-angled shot by Donald, which gets him in a good position. Looks like you missed. Now let's see Joe at the beginning again. Hey, how are you there? Your sabotage got me across in such a way that gives me a good angle to make in the hole without needing to go across like you have been trying to. Thanks for the help. Hey, Donald. That worked perfectly except for that part that didn't, which was all of it. Okay, I'll admit I deserve that one. Ben, is there any reason why you knocked me away despite the fact I haven't done anything to you and you already said you were against sabotage less than a minute ago? I was sabotaging you as payback for the sabotage you are probably already planning to do to me in the future. What you're punishing me for something that hasn't even happened, that you don't know is going to happen? How can you actually put your head around an idea as insane as that? You're already sabotaging yourself with shots as bad as that, so I don't see why you're complaining. Plus, it's the real critical thinkers like me that can tell what you're going to do, so that's why I did it. Oh, really? Now, hey, everyone, look, it's critical thinker out of bounds, Ben Shapiro in last place, telling me that I'm taking shots badly while he speaks really quickly to sound smart and struggles to get into the rides in the local water park since he's too short. Come on, miss, do it right now. You know you want to fail zero IQ strategy. You'll be right in fourth place with me. Soon get wrecked. Wow, you two are really at it. I didn't expect this to fall apart so quickly. I wish it would happen to Donald instead since he's closer to my score, but this works too. Yeah, I think we all need to chill out soon. Otherwise, we're going to be playing in complete silence so we don't argue, which is better for the editor, but not as fun for everyone else. What do you mean by editor exactly? Oh, nothing. It's fine. I just need to have you both calm down so we can finish up this game without our friendships breaking apart. You mean we're all really friends? Think of it like this. If we were on the Titanic and I needed to get onto one of the boats to save us, I wouldn't push you overboard so I can get on there but I'm definitely not saving you a spot. That is an interesting way of putting it. Hypothetically, let's say we were all in that position where we would all have the chance to reach one of the safety boats, and let's say there was a way for us to all survive. I would definitely save each of you a spot, though I do have a hierarchy of whom I'd call out to help first. What do you mean a hierarchy to call out? What does that mean? So if I were the first person in the boat that was filling up with people to escape, I would first call out to Donald to let him know that I was not only safe, but to allow him a chance to escape as well. Then I would call out for Joe. Then I would call out to my editor for The Daily Wire, who puts together the videos and blog pieces I upload there. Then the chef, assuming it was a good meal that I would have eaten earlier in the night before the ship hit the iceberg. Then my wife, who is also a doctor. The random guy on the street I met last week. The barista that took my order at Starbucks. Then after about three hours of calling out names, I'd tell Barack that he can come on board. 
You would let me die on the Titanic after calling out to people for three hours straight before letting me know that I could go on the same boat as you, all because of this game of golf? Can we focus on the map now? No, this map sucks. We're not making progress anyway. I wouldn't let you die. I just simply have other people I would try to save before you. In this case, it would be quite a lot of them, but I would get around to it. Besides, this is only a hypothetical situation, so you shouldn't worry about it. Glad to know you'll get around to it. Anyway, why is Donald your first person you'd call out to? I'm sure there are more important people you'd bring up first. Oh, I see. No, I just know he would carry spare copies of his book with him because of course he would. So I'm going to need the pages as toilet paper for me to use on the way back to land. Okay, I changed my mind if we are on the Titanic. I am absolutely pushing Ben overboard to get onto that boat. I might even do it just for fun. Guys, why are you all talking about a movie in all this detail? Oh my goodness, Joe, do you actually know the Titanic sinking was a real event and not just a movie? No, I never heard about it. I just liked watching it a while ago. Joe, you are an actual idiot, but we already knew that, so that's to be expected. Ben, how could you treat my book like toilet paper? It has so many more valuable things within the pages. Oh, that's easy. That deal you made earlier really sucked, and you should have gotten something more realistic, considering if you really had proof that the election was fraudulent, you wouldn't jeopardize that on a game of golf. And Joe's side of the deal was to rewrite the Constitution to make you the permanent president, which is not something you can just do. So half of the deal is impossible, and the other half is unreasonable. I imagine your books should have told you to make realistic deals instead of stupid ones. It is not a stupid deal. It is a genius deal, because that is the only kind of deal I can make. I haven't read your book, and I'm sure that based on your deal earlier, you haven't either. But while, yes, it is disrespectful for Ben to say he would do that to your book, it would have you be the number one person he would reach out to in a tragic event, which has to mean something, even if his motivations are incredibly strange. Perhaps I was being a bit too harsh. Even if you didn't have your book available offhand, I would still invite you on there soon enough, probably after the chef and my wife, who is a doctor, but still pretty soon. I do wonder, why would you call out to me so soon, though? I don't have Donald's book to use. Oh, I can explain that. It was a very tragic event, and I'd want someone who can tell a lot of stories there to keep my mind off of everything else going on. Granted, the stories you tell of your past are usually quite strange themselves, so I am considering putting you lower on the list. That's nice and all, except I'm at the bottom of the list so far, and for very inconsequential reasons. Not that I really need your approval for this scenario that cannot, or at least hopefully, not recreated. But it is strange that this game of golf would be the thing that would have you not reach out to me so much sooner. Perhaps I was being too harsh on you. I might call out to you sooner than three hours into it. My voice would not be in good condition after a while, and all of this doesn't even mean much. If you're not in range of me hearing, making it entirely pointless now that I think about it more. But I will reconsider what I've said. I'm glad to know you're at least willing to reconsider. That would be great for me to be higher up at some point. Is this the same? across all hypothetical dangerous situations or all of them, with a few exceptions. Like if we were all in an active volcano and you had a hierarchy of who you would save in what order is that the same? I hadn't really thought about it all that much. I was so busy thinking through the Titanic thing since Donald brought it up that I didn't consider other scenarios. Speaking of which, Donald and Joe haven't said a lot in a while. How are things going for you two? Oh, just great. I love hearing about nonsensical situations that don't matter while we completely ignore the actual golfing that's been happening for nearly three and a half minutes on this one hole now. Well, we're finally onto something different, so let's reconsider the Titanic talk another time instead. Finally, Joe comes up with a good idea. What are we even supposed to do for this hole? I'm not sure. It looks relatively simple compared to the last one, but I'm not sure if we're just missing something obvious here or if it's just around the corner to finish. Not sure, but I think if I can hit this block just right, I'll be able to angle myself in a way that brings me forward. Based on what I see here, it looks like you are not hitting the block accurately, meaning you are falling behind yet again. Thankfully, I will be making great progress, so we won't all be making this hole last too long. I guess you're right. It does look like some sort of chocolate substance was on the path, and I'm not sure that's been on any other holes, or at least it hasn't been brought up yet. And just like that, I make progress almost into the hole and right next to the chocolate, so I'm set to make it soon unless a sabotage happens. Don't worry. I, unlike some other people, don't plan on sabotaging you, unless I feel like you're planning on doing it ahead of time. In that case, I will do it. Yeah, Ben, it would be really weird if you were to try sabotaging someone just because you thought they may do something to you in the future with no evidence. Good thing you wouldn't do that to me. Okay, maybe I misjudged you a little bit, but it's not like you were even that inconvenienced by me, so really there's not that much of an issue if you really think about it. 
for the sake of not making this into another major issue that causes arguing for minutes on end, I won't be bringing up you sabotaging me unless it actually ends up happening. Good to know, let's just have me make yet another successful shot over here because that is what the Donald does best. Okay, seriously, Joe, what is wrong with you? You had nothing in the way of you getting in the hole, but yet you still attack me. What was that for? Take your shot and I'll tell you. Today, please. See, you were able to make it in just fine, so it really didn't inconvenience you in any real way. Does any of that sound remotely familiar? Oh, that is a good point. Barack, I apologize for preemptively sabotaging you. It was wrong for me to have done, and I now see the error of my ways. It's all right, I'm not worried about it. Hopefully this will not be continuing. Otherwise, that lesson will be completely lost after that setup. Yeah, I'm not messing around right now. I can't risk another sabotage after my attempt against Joe caused him to get ahead of me. Neither can I just getting it into the hole should be enough for now. I have nobody to sabotage even if I wanted to. Now let's just finish this. That hole went much better than the last one. Joe and Donald seem to be tied right now while Barack falls behind. It's doing to take a miracle for him to catch up in the next two holes. You know what? I'm gonna do what is called an epic gamer move right now and show you all just what I've been hiding this whole time. Come on, Ben, we don't even know what to do here. There's no need to risk it. I'm sorry, what was that? I couldn't quite hear you over the sound of me getting a hole in one immediately. That was actually really good as much as I'd like to do that since I can't afford any mistakes. I'm gonna play it safe to maintain my lead. You know what, I'm not playing it safe now. I'm going straight for the same shot Ben did since if I make it, I'll be ahead of Joe and we'll be in the lead. And you made it in too. That is gonna give you some room for the next hole to make mistakes since you'll be one ahead of Joe at a minimum. Uh oh, my decision. Although a good idea didn't actually work out since now I'm behind and I'm not sure how to navigate myself to the hole. Don't worry, Barack doesn't know how to navigate himself to the hole either. So you're not alone. I figured it can't hurt. There's pretty much no chance I'll even get second, so I might as well try the riskier options. Oh, would you look at that? I'm actually really close now. It would be good if I just made it in now, but I'll be able to get it in very soon at this rate. I think if I go for the same shot now, I can finally do it. Maybe I'll even knock you in by accident. You won't be knocking Joe in, but this does look much more promising. All right, I'll be getting it in this time, so although I have fallen behind, if I can do well enough, then I can get back to first place, or at least tie for first. That does sound accurate. Based on what the scoreboard is showing, the Donald has made his way into first place where he should be, but Joe is close behind. Meanwhile, Barack and Ben are completely out of it at this point. You going first does seem like a disadvantage, but it looks like this is a pretty good shot of yours, though I don't know how we're going to navigate around this very well. I'm going to get through very easily while everyone else struggles to no end. That's how I predict this going. I'm so far behind at this point, I'm just YOLOing it now. Wow, this looks like a great shot. Although I do see room for improvement, such as landing and bounds being a good thing to consider. Oh, I would like to see you do better then, but you're going out of bounds too right now. Okay, fine then, just watch this. What was that you were saying about me being out of bounds? Because my calculations show me that you are also out of bounds in a very similar way. What calculations? You just watched him go out of bounds, that's all that happened. I used many factors before he even made the shot, that's what I meant. I just didn't reveal my findings until after he already made a shot. Not to add any pressure, but Donald, you need to try something different if you want to get it in. Otherwise, I'm going to be catching up soon. Good job not adding any pressure. That's sure to help him a lot. Yeah, I can still make it soon. I'm just not used to this moving platform thing. It was in an earlier course while we were all stuck on the Titanic discussion, but didn't really mention it since it was only the beginning of the map and served a different purpose than it is now. That does sound right, but now all of us are in the same area, so that means any one of us can get it in, assuming no sabotaging happens. I was going to make it over, but that platform really did mess me up. Donald wasn't kidding earlier. I think I'm next, so I'll be taking a more cautious approach here. Yes, I made it. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, that was a close one. That would have guaranteed the lead stay in place, but you still have a chance to stay ahead since Joe hasn't gotten over yet. It's all right. We can always watch Ben miss for entertainment in between our serious attempts, since we all know this isn't going well. I would try to make some sort of witty comeback, but at this point, since I have no real lead or anything else to back it up, I think I'll just have to accept that I've been missing a lot and need to make major improvements next time. And in all fairness, I haven't been doing well this whole either, so I can't criticize you all that much either. At least we are both aware that we still have room to grow before we are great golfers. 
That's good, you two, but I think we're long overdue for some real success on my side. It's Bidening time. Wow, it took you since the last golf match, but you finally used your expression correctly. I'm proud of you for that alone. That was pretty good, unfortunately for you. The Donald is making his comeback to the other side, so I'll be making it in soon as well if all goes according to plan. This game is suddenly getting more tense. I wonder how this is going to end with half of us getting very close to the hole. It's going to be more than half of us since this shot is the one that finally gets me the success I've been waiting for this whole time, even if I am still technically in last. I'm feeling a little bit lonely on this side of the map, so if it's okay with everyone else, I'm coming over there so I can finish this too. I am not okay with it. Stay back there so I'll have no interruptions on my way to victory. Sorry I'm getting over there right now. It just has to happen this way. I would say this is a tense ending, but then again, I'm almost 10 shots behind first place, so there's no real suspense for me. I'm not going to bother with any sabotaging. I'm just making it right in to ensure I'll be fine. That's a good idea. I kind of have a bad angle here, but that means I'll be able to make it in two shots, assuming nobody tries to knock me out of the area. My angle isn't the best either, but then again, I should be able to knock this in carefully enough to where I'll be done without any more complications. That was a good shot. Glad you didn't make it in last this time. Yeah, that was well done, Ben. Glad to know you've definitely improved your gameplay from the beginning of the entire course where you struggled a lot more. Barack, can you explain what you did right there? I was trying to do uh, a last minute sabotage, but obviously I didn't consider it well enough. No real reason for me to do it besides you were the only other one on the course still. Doesn't really matter. I don't think I got ahead of Joe since I took two more shots, meaning we tied, but still could have been worse. You're right. That was a good game. Bye, everyone. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Yeah, that's right. Peace out, people. So long, fellow viewers.